Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. We're back so soon, I know. In the last episode, we went and spoke with Parthenax, the leader of the Greybeards, who turned out to be a dragon, who told us to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Essentially, we would need an Elder Scroll so that we could travel back in time and learn it from those that made it. Because as a dragon, he was incapable of knowing it. So we went to the College of Winterhold, where we were given a book by uh, Septimus... Signius? Y'all, I am so bad with names, it's it's embarrassing. Septimus Cygnus, I was close. Who uh, rambled on like a madman, but told us that we would need to do a favor for him and asked us to go to the Tower of Mazark names, I'm pretty sure that's right, <laughs> and go down into Blackreach so we could transcribe some little Dwemer lexicon thing that he gave us. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get back into it. So let's see where um, on our map this is. Actually, it's not too super far away. I guess we can travel to this little lighthouse and get there from there. But yeah, I'm excited for this episode because the last one was a whole lot of old men rambling and also me, but I'm kind of an old man, if it counts. So now we'll actually get to do something Kind of exciting. Two things pretty exciting. Might be a little bit of a longer episode, I'm thinking. The other one might have been too, just because all of the rambling. Those dogs are very glowy. And there's also a frost troll. I'm, I'm going this way. Oh, we're, yeah, we're actually already here. Okay, that makes it simple. Probably still gonna be attacked by that troll though. But yeah, I don't like it when videos are all just talking. That's no fun. I guess it makes my job a little bit easier, but you know, I also enjoy playing these games for you guys, so. Who cares if we... Ah, oh, you just died. You just killed a man. That's a mistake. Thought I heard something. <laughs> to oblivion with but you. I'm, I'm pretty sure none of us are going to complain for having two long Skyrim episodes in a row. I know I'm not, at least. Oh, it was just a bandit. Who cares about him? Do we have a backpack on? I feel like we probably do, but I can't even remember. They are definitely handy. No, we don't currently. We should probably put one on. That would help. Look at us, a true adventurer. I still need to work on my smithing so we can make some dragon scale armor. He usually has that by the end of this uh, little storyline. So let's see if we can find our way into here. That person's been burned alive. How lovely. And of course, it's a, a Dwemer rune. So uh, those are always fun, right? Getting to deal with all the farmer and Horses. All right, should we try to be sneaky this time? I'm feeling a little sneaky today. That might make me uh, take a longer time, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna take that. Actually, I did just get, okay, I just got my backpack. We have a Cicero. I'm gonna collect some of the little dwarven -y things around here because we need a lot of ingots. Maybe I should have emptied out my inventory before I came in here. We have a lot of random arrows, don't we, just from being shot? Yeah, cause like we have all this extra armor. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll cut back to where I'm in here. We don't, we don't need to see this part. Okay, we're back in here now. We can carry a whole lot more. I probably should have checked Cicero's inventory too, but it's fine. Um, I also realized I never organized all of my stuff in my house, so I probably need to do that in between episodes. Or just during one, like how I did with Oblivion, but I think we have a lot more stuff on here. I also forgot Lucian was in my house. We might take him with us again. I kind of like the idea that- oh, a loot. I'm taking that. I know that's a little bit weird, but I do have a mod that lets you play music, and I've been meaning to do the Bard's College since we were doing the College of Winterhold, and I keep forgetting because that's what he does around that time. He also joins that college, but here we are. What is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Jizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. I thought he was mad we took no, that potion at first. To be more Shut up. Shut Great, up. sounds like there's a crazed, addicted Khajiit in here. Do you have any any things? A gear? I, I don't remember what you can and can't smelt down because it's been a little bit since I've done this method of it. So I may have to look into that because I know some of it you can smelt down, some of it you can't, and I don't know exactly why. You know what? <sighs> Sneaking's for losers. We're just, we're running around. <laughs> There's gonna be enough sneaking around in my uh, VR series. Yeah, let me look that up real quick because these weigh like a pound each and we're gonna get full pretty fast. I do have a mod that changes the way crafting works though. 
that might mess with this. I'm not sure. Okay, solid Dwemer metal, small Dwemer plate metal, large Dwemer plate metal, bent scrap metal, large scrap metal, Dwemer strut, or large one, and decor large decorative Dwemer strut. Okay, so not the gears. Let's get rid of the gear. Okay, drop those, because I don't think those work unless if my... My little uh, mod changes that, which it might. We'll go ahead and take all the soul gems in case we want to level enchanting eventually. Probably should. That is something else Gonair works on. He makes a ring that allows him to just cast as many destruction spells as he wants with a, you know, no real limitation to it. That's, that's pretty far in the future. Obviously I uh, exploit a little glitch there too in the process. Oh, hi. Yeah, we'll probably do that eventually, if I don't forget. <laughs> cogs! I feel like I need all the cogs for that one quest, but I've already done it. But every time I see them, I'm like, I need the cog. I'm afraid I'm just gonna, like, stroll past stuff and just not even notice. Oh, hi. Speaking of not noticing, fool. Oh, he wasn't really hurting anything, though. Maybe he was a friend. Now I feel bad. What? Who is this brother? Hi. Another of the smooth skins looking for food? Wasn't with us. Yeah, right, you're you're insane. Yeah, yeah, you are dead. You're actually really strong for not wearing armor. Okay, goodbye. Uh, what's going on here? I'm sure I could read this journal and figure out all about it, but we don't have the time. Sister, please. Speaking of which, they really do need to go back to the Brotherhood because they do go there like pretty often in the story. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, it looked like a place where a centurion might be. Yeah, we're just gonna get spears instead. That's not so bad. Could you come back here, please? Oh god. You know what? They're both on Cicero. Let's just uh go ahead and uh, light that up, please. Thank you, thank you, for little Cicero. Thank him for me, friend! You do have the heavier armor right now, which isn't the most fitting for you, but, you know, we'll find you something different eventually. I actually do make another set of dragon scale for him as well, so maybe we'll do that. Last mistake. No, please, I just want I, I just want the plate metal. I knew I heard something. Oh, hold on, man, hold on. I'm busy. Oh. It's mine. <gasps> Lots of oil around here. That's a fire hazard. I'm gonna have to speak with their manager. Oh, I'm so happy we have the skeleton key. Not that it mattered on that lock, because it was very simple, but maybe it'll matter on this one. Yeah, look at that. Very difficult. What would I do without it? Oh, hey, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, this one's even harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take those so we can uh, disenchant them, because I need to focus more on my skills, because I realize that is a flaw within my series. You okay there, friend? <laughs> it's just the usual. I don't know why. I'm always so confused. I'm very used to it. Oh, that's a very obvious trap there, isn't it? They're easy to avoid as well. My lockpicking's not even that high, but I'm pretty good at it. It's hard not to be, I guess, whenever you have the skeleton key, but what can you do? Okay, I can only assume you probably have a bunch of dragon bones. Uh, it's actually not so bad. We will go ahead and give you what we have here, though. <laughs> Enjoy all of that. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to carry a lot of that. Humble that will be Cicero. very handy. Oh, there's a little dude here. Hello. She's probably going to be needy the rest of this episode now. Oh, it's the pushy things. Do it, man. Forget that this is quite the long dungeon. We will definitely be in here for a while, my friends. But we might be we might be approaching Blackreach. I can't really remember. It's been a little bit since I've done this. I haven't been playing Skyrim as much the last couple of months. Mostly just because it's been too hot to be in the office whenever I don't need to be. Well, I guess I was achievement hunting in Skyrim, but that's, that's a little bit different. That mostly just involved me blocking a giant for like three hours straight. Not as exciting. Oh great, Falmer stuff is down here. No. I don't want the Falmer. I hate them. Oh! <laughs> I see you brought a friend! Well, you know, he's not hurting anything. Maybe. It's confusing Cicero a little bit, I think. Nah, he's friendly. Let's let's get going. I don't want to hurt the little dude. Oh, I hear him scuttling after him. <gasps> this is actually adorable. I love this a lot. I don't know why it's happening, but I really appreciate it. 
Thanks, game, for our new cute little friend. <laughs> this is so weird. Why is this her not attacking him? Is that one gonna attack us? Are they friendly now? Are we all bros? Have I been hitting them first this whole time? I don't think so. Okay, you're you're not friendly. You're never friendly. I hate these little things. To Go away. With you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now he's in fighting mode. Don't hurt your little friend though. That'd be real sad. He's hurting this one. Oh no! Don't do it. Oh. To I can't help with, with this. I can't enable that type of behavior. He was our friend, Cicero. I'm disappointed in him. Okay, this is dangerous. Cicero. First, I'm gonna quick save. Then, you have to promise to walk directly behind me, okay? You see? We're just gonna scoot along right here, and nothing will hurt us. Can you do it? I believe in you. Come on. Oh my god, he's actually somewhat intelligent. I love it. Oh, what? What? Oh, hello. Pretty sure you can get one of these as a little pet, can't you? Or is it a sphere in Dragonborn? I feel like you might be able to get both somehow, but... I feel bad for attacking these little hour. guys now. They're kind of cute. Yeah, I think after we uh, finish these next couple of quests that we're going to do involving Septimus, I think we should probably go home and maybe work on some skills for a little bit. Probably not in this episode, but maybe next episode we can. You gonna attack me? Yeah. How unfortunate. Ooh, a master chest. Okay, we can do it, friends. We can do it. Maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, okay, some new spells. I like it. Alright, I think this was just a little bonus room. Did I already get that? No. I think where we really need to go is down here. I think we have to take a little bit of a fall, don't we? We're being attacked. Is it down there? Did he jump? Cicero? Cicero. Oh no, he's up here. What are you doing, man? You're just walking? <gasps> Practicing that block skill? Can't shame him for that, I guess. But yeah, we need to jump down here. This little idiot couldn't take a small little fall, I suppose. Though it does also look like she was being attacked, huh? Jumps and shoot lightning spells at us. I don't like that at all, because I have one guess as to what that's going to be. Yup. Bomber. I hate them. And a lot of them at that! Oh god, that was crap. But we're fine, apparently. Oh, that one exploded. How nice of it. Please die. Well, hate the Fulmer, hate the Fulmer. But, you know, they're not so bad. They're not so bad. Oh, until they hit you, then, <laughs> then they're a little bit bad. Let's uh, try out that new healing spell. Yeah, because that one's fast healing. So this one costs a little bit more, but it does more. So let's try it out. Yeah, it's, that's a fine amount, I think. Okay, avoid the fire. Not that it would do too much damage to Gonair as a dark elf. Okay, I do know we're definitely getting at least somewhat deep in here because we're running into a bunch of Falmer. That's at least one plus side to it, I suppose. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I have like three-fourths cover, fool. You can never possibly hit me. Oh, we should make some potions while we're here. Why not? First off, let's make sure we haven't eaten that. Haven't eaten that. Should probably actually eat all this stuff to figure out what it does. We really don't focus too much on alchemy either, do we? We might need those for our house. I'm not sure. No, I think we finished our house. I might regret that. <laughs> yeah, most of this we haven't even eaten. Can I even use this? Let me use it. Oh, the nerve. It won't let me use it. I'm so sad. <laughs> I just ate all of that for no reason. Why? Why you not work? Oh well. Let's just keep going. You know what? Oh no, we, we already know what his ear does. I was about to say, let's just bite his ear off, but we're good. You cannot use this while in combat. Oh, I didn't notice those things over there were fighting us. That explains a lot. But we'll just have to use it when we get home. Ooh, I, I like the look of this. So... That was really risky of you, because like all of this fire is already going. Like, oh, they're a bunch of fools. I already kind of knew that, though. Oh, hi. Please die. No, don't hit me. Haha. -ha. Well, okay. That was now an unpleasant bit. Pick up all of that and continue on our way. Ooh, I want these alchemy supplies as well, and all this. Hmm, there's a little anvil down here. If only there was a smelter, we could smelt some of the stuff down. Oh, oh, that's an elevator. That's ooh, ooh, ooh. hello, Cicero. Cicero, could you help? 
Where are you at, my friend? Okay, you're dead. Oh, someone has ice spike too. No, we're still we're still good on health for now until one of them one shots us, which they definitely like do. Let's uh, try this out. We probably don't have enough magicka. Great. Okay, at least Cicero is distracting them. Please die. Oblivion. There. There's still like a couple more up there, but I don't really know exactly where they are, so we're just gonna keep going. Lovely place the Fulmer have here. Hmm. Oh hi! They found their way to us, I see. Oh my god. Ah, human flesh. Wonderful. Oh god, that was oh, that's not the right spell. That was uncomfortably close to my face. Can't wait to fight these guys in VR. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we need to go down here. I'm pretty sure we'd take the elevator, but I might be mistaken. Let's check. Glacial ruins. No, no, I don't... I don't know! That sounds like it might take us up, but we need to go down. I don't know, it might take us down. I could be mistaken. What's over here? I'll check over here first, too. Hi! You're kind of stupid, aren't you? Guess you are blind. Sorry well. about that. Further down, okay. Is this up? Okay, it does look like this is where we need to go. Alright, this is very trapped. Let's avoid those, please. This is a very this long dungeon. Oh, that, that actually didn't hurt. I thought it was going to, but it, it didn't. We're fine. <laughs> Ooh, look at this place. Fancy, fancy. And more Palmer, of course. <laughs> Oh, I hit Cicero. Sorry. There's probably going to be a centurion up here. Yeah, there there are indeed centurions. Okay, at least one. Looks like yeah, just just one, just one. Okay, let's get get a few shots on him before he notices where we are exactly. Though he's running immediately towards us. Cicero, you gotta stop walking in front of me, man. Oh, that was actually really easy. Yeah, I'll take that. It's kind of cool. Okay, key to all ten. Lift. That sounds like what we need, so I guess let's go ahead while well, I'll loot this guy first. Take a soul gem and all of that. Alright, let's go ahead and go in here. This should lead us to Blackreach. Sala, let's just get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Oh, of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. How'd they get in here without the key? I guess they killed that one. Ha! Found <laughs> They were right in front of you. I'm just gonna let them sort that out. Uh, I don't- I don't really care enough, so uh... Have at it, friends! I'll take care of whichever one makes it through this. Uh, it looks like it might- Oh, no, that one's kind of dying. Sister, what are you doing? Just sneaking right by him. Alright. Who's gonna win? It looks like Sola is- is dying. Someone healed, though. Fight the epic battle. Mm. Oh, oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna first loot that. And then I'm gonna sneak around and kill her. She'll never see it coming. Someone's a dead eye captain. Okay. Oh, I'm about at my uh, very capacity. Mercy. Okay, 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 okay. I'll have your head. <gasps> Are you taking Cicero? That is not cool. I'm going to That's the end of that. Hey, at least you enjoyed it, right? Apparently. Oh, I gotta take that shield. It's a unique shield. I gotta take it. Oh heck. Let's Cicero kill. helps. Take all of that, please. There we go. Much better. What do you have? It's kinda cool, but we'll, we're not an Imperial. We'll probably get it when we do the Imperial storyline, so it's it's fine. Okay, there we go. And into Black Reach. We're not done yet, my friends. We are not done yet. Oh, but here we are. One of the prettiest places in the game, in my opinion. Ooh, can I shoot the sphere? Is that gonna hit you? <laughs> no, it went right above you. Great. And you know, as we do, we gotta take some screenshots. He's kind of noticing us, but that's okay. All right, we should probably take care of the sphere. Now, <laughs> there are a lot of Falmer, a lot of Dwimmer, well, little, little robots in here that we are gonna have to deal with, but we did fine in there. We'll probably be fine down here. 
Now, we could also mess with the Crimson Nern Roots while we're down here, but that's very time consuming and don't know if I should. Oh, am I gonna level? I might level. Mm, might not, might not. Might be a sliver away. Oh, nope, I did, I did. I'm gonna loot in here real quick, but after that, we're probably just gonna try to get to where we need to go. Now, this guy, I do believe, was actually. Okay, we did at least start the quest, so we have it. But I believe this guy was in Oblivion, so maybe we'll run into him again. In a more uh, lively form. Let's put more into stamina. Our stamina is pretty low. Ooh, this makes shock spells 50% more powerful. Based on the target's missing magic. Oh, it's not as good. Oh, oh no, this one's the one I think that I got that was like bugging out a lot in my Clockwork series, but it's like also kind of fun. It uh, has a 15% chance to lift the target, well, shock spells anyway, for two seconds, preventing movement. Kind of ends up making them fly around though. I think that's it anyway. No, no, I think that's this one because it makes them come in front of you and it kind of freaks out a little bit. So we'll try out this one. Why not? Oh yeah, I forget we have two perks. Maybe I should save this perk for smithing though. <laughs> when can I get this scales? Ah, uh, okay, okay, here it is. So we'll need to go down this route. Okay, so I'll keep that perk for now. But yeah, Gunair does become quite the mage rather than just a spell sword, though he uses the sword sometimes still. But once we get that ring, especially, it's gonna be a lot of spells. So we end up with a lot of followers that kinda like surround the target, you know? Like we don't need to be up front at that point. Take that nerd root, just take all of this stuff. That was a skill book. You know what? Let's take that with us for our library. Oh, there's even more stuff over here. Okay, now let's try our best to get out of Blackreach now, shall we? It is so pretty. I remember the first time that I came here, <laughs> I could not stop obsessing over it. And um, I didn't get a uh, actual smartphone until... I think it may have been when I turned 18, actually. <laughs> Maybe we should sneak, avoid some fighting that way, you know? Well, it's not like fighting's a bad thing. We need to level. But before that, I had a flip phone. <laughs> and I remember just taking pictures of Blackreach with my crappy little flip phone. Oh, he may not actually attack us, huh? These guys will, though. And it was my wallpaper on my crappy little flip phone. <laughs> but I at least enjoyed it. At least it had a pretty background, I guess. Because I like Blackreach's aesthetic very, very much. <laughs> Skyrim in general is just- it's just pretty. Except for the Falmer. Hate these guys. Ooh, so dramatic. But yeah, we'll probably end up down here um, on multiple occasions. We might do the Crimson Nern Root quest eventually. I don't think Gonier is too concerned with it right now, to be honest. He's concerned with uh, the whole end of the world thing. We're just gonna take a short little stroll through Blackreach, as short as we can make it anyways. Ooh, I think that's a skill book too. Yes, it is. Why, well, thank you. I guess if I see any crimson nern roots, I'll get them, but once again, it is quite dark. More so from my point of view, it tends to not be as dark in recordings, which is a little bit weird. Ooh, a bug might come out of that. Nope, 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 go that way. <laughs> I hate the chorus. I hate them with a passion. But okay, I think this up here is where we're needing to go. There's also something dealing with all of this and whatnot, but like I said, we will be down here again later. Gonair has a priority right now. All right, Tower of Mazark, let's go up. All right, so here we are. We need to find where we can transcribe this little lexicon. Ah, that was uh, very simple, wasn't it? <laughs> it's right here. Now, we have done this before in the College of Winterhold, so at least Gonair kind of knows what he's doing. So let's go ahead and plop that there. Of course, the college, it was a lot more like fire and ice spells, but here it's just, it's a lot of button pressing until you get stuff right, I have learned. So just keep pressing that one. One more time, maybe? Maybe two? Come on. One more. Okay. Now, ooh, that's doing something cool. Now we press this one until it goes to the right spot. And we can press the last button. It's very simple, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, that looks like it was correct. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. 
And there it is, my friends. An Elder Scroll. Once again, we know how it be. Gotta do it. So there it is. Okay. Completed. Elder Knowledge. Let's get that lexicon back for Septimus, though. He might be a little bit mad if we don't bring that back to him. Cicero, we're having some issues there, my friends. Now, we can go ahead and go read that at the time wound, but we are going to go talk to Septimus first and honor our side of the deal. Because as the fates would have it, there's someone that Gonair gets to meet during all of this. So, hello, you strange, strange little old man. I brought it for you. When the top level was built, eh? Right, yeah, no whatever. I've inscribed the lexicon. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. Uh huh. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. Uh huh. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Right. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. A little bit weird, but sure. <laughs> I guess I guess we will do that. It's don't not like we don't kill people on a regular oh, basis anyways, but <gasps> there he is. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, wretched abyss. You know, I'm going to back up just a little bit. It's a little, a little too close there. Come closer. Back in my presence. I'm so excited. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. Oh, one of my favorites. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Alarming. Okay. Most impressive. Oh? Um, what do you want of me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. Right. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Ah, uh, well, you see, I am a dark elf. I am a Daedric worshipping dark elf. He's not gonna go around denying a Daedra, you know what I mean? I am your servant, my lord. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened and all shall be revealed. Oh! And there he goes. Ghanair's probably a little sweaty now. <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I really appreciate the blood on the flower crown. That is the most Gonary aesthetic I have ever witnessed. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. I'm very excited for the next one. I'm just excited about this series, especially doing Dragonborn after this, because it's my favorite expansion in Skyrim. So I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, I'll see you guys. I hit my finger. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.